Have you heard? Starting today, people can purchase hearing aids over the counter the same way you would buy aspirin. No prescription necessary. The massive new level of competition will save consumers billions, and Uncle Sam says it's all good to go. KTVU's Tom Baker joins us now. He's here in studio with the details. Tom. Well, let's put it this way. It's something that if you have not been able to afford them, will definitely perk up your ears. Senior Center receptionist Sylvia Schmidt has great insurance that will cover her new top-of-the-line $5,000 hearing aids. But she is rare. Every day I hear people commenting about, or lamenting, I should say, about their loss of hearing. 20% of all Americans have some degree of hearing loss, including nearly 30% of those over age 60 and 50% over age 75. But traditional hearing aids can cost as much as $5,000 per ear, not including other upfront costs such as doctor visits. And they must be labeled on the box over-the-counter hearing aids and these mean that they are regulated by the FDA for safety and efficacy. But people should look at that box and make sure there's a return policy. With in-store and online availability, it's mostly do-it-yourself with help from the sellers. If there's no trial period or good warranty, don't buy them. Otherwise, yes, consumers can do this online successfully. Consumer Reports' Catherine Roberts says for most people, the apps and interfaces that over-the-counters provide for fit and control are sufficient. They've been able to show that people can do that and get themselves a fit of their hearing aid that is um, at least as good as sort of the outcome they would get with the, uh, with the audiologist. Since major retailers such as Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, or Best Buy can be trusted, buying in person is a good option. They are ranging from kind of the $200 range all the way up to, you know, they can get up to kind of $2,000 or more. If you buy online, stick with the same trusted names, but also consider buying direct from manufacturers or retailers you can check out, such as Ergo, Lexi, Lively, and others. I had committed to an expensive pair and then rethought my position. I'm probably going to let the market shake out a little bit, decide where it's going to go. Now, the Hearing Loss Association of America has put together a handy tip sheet on shopping for and buying over-the-counter hearing aids. And we've, of course, posted that link on our website, ktvu.com. Something really worth thinking about and a huge change in another industry. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And Tom, can anyone use these who needs help with their hearing? And what about the cost? Not everybody can use them. That is absolutely the case. If you have really bad hearing problems, you need to have real medical uh, health care. But if you have mild to moderate, many, many people can use these. And the cost can be anywhere as low as $200 to $700, dollars $900 is the primary range for these things. But that's way cheaper than what you would get if you went to a, a regular place. And that doesn't mean that those regular places aren't going to compete, but they're going to compete on a much greater level because they have to now. All right. Good to know. Tom Vakar reporting live for us tonight in studio. Thanks, Tom. Yeah.